Not So Travelling Introvert. Today I want to talk about multitasking. We've all done it. <laughs> um, we will all continue to do it in some way, shape or form. But just being aware of when you're doing it and why you're doing it is really helpful. Everyone thinks they're good multitaskers. Uh, but the truth is, we're not really wired to be multitaskers. The brain doesn't like that kind of a thing. It's not designed for it. And sure, there's that saying, you know, you can chew gum and walk and talk, etc. But when your brain needs to focus on a specific task like reading, driving, learning, writing, and that sort of a thing, it's really not a good idea to try and multitask in that way. The truth is, what we call multitasking is really task switching. It means you go back and forth between tasks such as watching TV and reading, or watching TV and crocheting. Um, you're not really doing both at the same time because you're not fully focused on one or the other. And trying to do that causes you to be slower. When you don't give 100% of your focus to the task at hand, it will take longer. I mean, you can test this out. The next time you need to get something done, set a timer for 30 minutes. Do only that task. Don't watch TV, listen to the radio, check your phone or anything. And then do the same task again for the same amount of time while also doing something else. And you'll see what the result is. Multitasking can cause you to make some mistakes. So, for example, what if your surgeon was texting while doing surgery? As ludicrous or, or funny as this sounds, so many people think they're able to text and drive. And in many cases, multitasking is deadly. So in other cases, it might just cause you to make unneeded mistakes. And mistakes, also inaccuracies. Need to do your taxes? Pay attention to exactly what you're doing and nothing else so you don't make mistakes or be inaccurate. The same can be said for cooking, changing the oil in your car, or anything with multiple steps that help you produce results. So here's the random thing. Multitasking can actually make you stressed when everything is taking extra long, then you get stressed out because it's not happening as fast as you wanted to, or there's mistakes being made, which then makes you stressed. It's not a great way to live. And if you have too much going on, it can lead to information overload, which can cause problems with your memory. Your brain essentially starts filtering information incorrectly, which causes everything to have the same weight of importance, which isn't true. We don't live a life where everything has the same importance. And so your brain kind of just just puts everything in a, in a box or one box, it'll do. And that's not great. Now, uh, multitasking is really, really interesting because it's one of those things that we think we can do, but we can't really. So knowing that the reality is that you are not multitasking, but task switching can help you deal with things better. If you have three things that you need to do, do one and then the other and then the other. Don't try and do one while sort of doing the other and sort of doing the other because it will take more time. If you just acknowledge the fact that you are not multitasking, but you were in fact task switching, this will help you with putting tasks together that are similar. So task just with the email. Email is a great example because people are like, oh, I can get through my email in X amount of time. But emails tend to be a mixture of information, stuff to be done, things to archive and, um, and maybe calendar invites. You can go through all of those in one go. It will take you more time. However, if you filter your emails, so you just have to deal with information that you have to read, stuff that you have to reply to, calendar invites and other things, and then go into those subcategories, you will find that you will go through it quicker because you are not task switching. It's things like that that make a difference and will make life better for you. Also, attempting to multitask can ruin your creativity and take joy from the things you like to do. Life is a series of events that you should take your time to enjoy and soak in. 
even if it's data entry or reading uh, a very dry school book, it's fine. You'll get more out of your life if you start trying to focus on one thing at a time so that you do your best and feel good about it. Thank you for listening. This is Janice at thecareerintrovert.com, helping you build your brand and get hired. Have a great rest of your week.